Fishing is a gamble, and with climate change, the risks are increasing dramatically. In the Caribbean, fish stocks are under increasing pressure from overfishing, pollution, habitat degradation, and now climate change. As traditional fishing grounds no longer yield the quantity and the variety of fish that the market seeks, fish harvesters are going further out to sea on an ever expanding hunt for fish. But where are the fish going? As the ocean warms with climate change, they are moving deeper, further offshore, and farther north to follow cooler water. From seeing this, this area, the thing about El Nino and this climate change, a lot of things been happening to the bottom of the sea. You're not catching any fish like before. Some of the fish for the whole day, and you wouldn't get about 20 pounds of fish. So there's a lot of changes going on in the bottom of the sea. There's a big, big, big difference. Everything just changed, so we have to, the hustle is more hard nowadays than before. The reef in our area is very bad. When the fishermen go and set their fish spots, nothing. Climate change destroy our coral reef around here. That's what's happening to us here. Despite the many challenges, some young people are taking up fishing, but they are doing it differently. I've always loved fishing. Uh, my dad has been a fisherman for all his life, basically. Um, I went out with him a few times when I was younger, and I, I just fell in love with it. When I first went out, I was 12 years old. I uh, fished with my father, and then when I went out 10 years later, they were still doing the same type of fishing. And I figured to myself, there has to be a better way, an easier way, a more efficient way to do the same thing that we're doing. I employed um, five other guys. One of the boat's job was to target snappers. Um, I personally went out to target um, pelagics and another boat focused more on fish spots. Out on the wide open sea, the first challenge is to find the fish. Fish aggregating devices or fads anchored in open water have become popular as a way to attract pelagic species to certain areas. Fads are beneficial to fishers because they improve efficiency at sea, but they also serve to reduce pressure on reef fish as more and more fishers concentrate their efforts on fishing out in the deep. Innovations in technology have enabled the creation of FEWA, an app developed specifically for fishers in the Caribbean. FEWA is supported by the investment plan for the Caribbean regional track of the pilot program for climate resilience, implemented by the Mona Office for Research and Innovation at the University of the West Indies, with grant funding from the Climate Investment Fund through the Inter-American Development Bank. The app enables fishers to receive real-time information on weather and sea conditions, and to report on local conditions and persons missing at sea. It also tracks moon phases and tides to aid fishers to optimize their catch. As climate change brings stormier weather and more variable seas, FEWA is proving valuable in facilitating safety at sea. The fishermen here are basically, they're not only fishermen, but they're also businessmen because I mean, you, you're self-employed, so you, you work for yourself. We are responsible for selling our fish, um, finding the market, um, storage, processing. Um, so we are, we are responsible for that here in Dominica right now. Recognizing that fisheries in the Caribbean are under serious pressure, it is up to all of us to commit to strategies to address the impacts of climate change on our fisheries so that we can have fish for today and fish for tomorrow.